Hello everyone, welcome to h &S Automotive and thank you for taking an interest in this 2008 Chevy Cobalt. Um, so in this video, we'll do a walkthrough of this vehicle. I'll point out any imperfections the vehicle has and then we'll also go over some of the major features and functions of the vehicle. Um, before we get started, we would like to point out uh, that we did buy this vehicle from an insurance company. Um, it's got a clean title, there were no airbags deployed or anything like that. Um, it was just in a minor accident where it was sideswiped um, uh, on the passenger door as well as the uh, passenger side rear door. Um, so these two doors were replaced um, and they were taken off of an existing cobalt with the uh, same paint code. So, you know, the paint matches up very well. No issues there. Um, but it's got a clean title, um, you know, no airbags deployed or anything like that. All right. So with that out of the way, we'll get started. So at first, I'll just kind of walk around the vehicle, give you guys a general overview. And then after that, we will dive in a little bit deeper. Here we are coming around towards the driver's side of the vehicle. Alrighty, here we are coming around towards the back. It's got a beautiful silver paint. And then here we are coming around towards the passenger side. I'll just zoom out a little bit. Alrighty. So from here, we'll move in a little bit closer, check out the front bumper. Overall, the front bumper is in very good condition. Um, I don't see any rock chips or any scratches or anything like that. Uh, there's no cracks in the bumper either. Um, taking a look at the hood, um, there's some minor chips uh, in the hood, you know, nothing out of the ordinary for the age of the vehicle. Um, but nothing that kind of uh, really stands out or anything like that. Um, checking out the headlights. Um, so the headlight on this side is very clean. Um, on the other side, we do have some uh, condensation inside the headlight, um, but it works. Uh, there's no issues there. Uh, headlights, uh, low beams, as well as turn signals all work great. Just a little bit of condensation inside. Checking out the uh, driver's side front fender. Um, you know, no dents or scratches or anything like that. In very good condition. And the tires on this vehicle are practically brand new. Um, you know, as you can tell, plenty of tread left for many more miles to come. Checking out the driver's door. Once again, no dents or scratches that I can see. And then same goes for the rear door as well. Overall, this is a very well-kept vehicle, as you can tell. Um, checking out the rear uh, quarter panel. There's a little bit of, I guess, I want to say a little, well, actually, no, it's just dirt. Um, just came right off. Um, rear quarter panel looks very nice as well. I think this is some dirt as well. Yep. But yeah, no dents or scratches on there either. Um, checking out the rear of the vehicle. Once again, rear uh, bumper. Um, there's a little bit of uh, paint chipping right over here. Um, this is plastic, so, you know, there's no, uh, there's not going to be any rust or anything like that on here but there is some minor paint chipping right here. Uh, as for the trunk lid, it's nice and clean. No major scratches on the lid either. All right. And checking out the other quarter panel. Once again, nice and clean, no dents or scratches or anything worth mentioning. Once again, tires are brand new on uh, all four sides. Ready. and then checking out the passenger side doors there's a little bit of a dent right over here nothing major but uh, it is there nonetheless uh, also the uh, rocker panel uh, on this vehicle is rusted now this is a very common issue on these uh, Chevy Cobalts where uh, it's just the passenger side rocker panel that rusts um, I think it just holds uh, a little more water than it really needs to and uh, which results in this rusting. But other than this uh, rocker panel rusting, there's no other uh, rust spots on the vehicle. Um, undercarriage is very nice as well. And then checking out the uh, front door. Once again, no dents or scratches that I can see. There's a little bit of a chip mark here on the handle. And then uh, front fender. Once again, nice and clean. Huh? There's a little bit of a dent right over here. Not sure if you guys can see that on the camera. 
Alrighty. So from here, guys, we will jump into the vehicle, check out the interior. Alrighty. So right here, we've got the driver's door. As you can see, this vehicle is equipped with uh, power windows, as well as power door locks, and then power mirrors as well. And then checking out the interior. As I mentioned earlier, very clean car. Alrighty. So from here, we will start the vehicle. Alrighty guys, so as you guys can tell, uh, this vehicle has 77,264 miles on the clock. Um, there's no warning lights on in the dash, no check engine light or transmission light or anything of that sort. Um, nice and smooth running engine, uh, smooth shifting transmission, no issues there. And then I'll just zoom out a little bit more. Uh, so as you can tell, we are behind the steering wheel. Um, on this side, we do have some steering wheel mounted controls. This is just the uh, info screen, you know, just kind of goes through all of the uh, options right over there. Alrighty. And that can just all be controlled through here. Uh, behind the steering wheel, we do have our turn signal stock right there, as well as headlight operation. And on the other side, we've got our wiper controls. And as you can tell, they work. Um, in the middle of the steering wheel, we just have our typical horn. Got our hazard switch right over here. And then in the middle of the dashboard, we've got our audio controls for the vehicle. So this vehicle is equipped with uh, AM, FM radio, as well as aux connectivity um, and a CD player as well. Um, already. And then got our volume control right over here. Uh, beneath that, we've got our climate controls. Uh, heat and AC work great. No issues there. Got our fan speed right there. Go ahead and turn that off. And then right over here, we've got our cup holders. And behind the cup holders, we've got our uh, transmission selector. So this vehicle is an automatic. And then behind that, we've got our e-brake. And then, uh, you know, some additional storage um, that doubles as an armrest. Alrighty. So let's check out the passenger side interior. Once again, seats are very clean. There's no rips or tears or anything like that. Same goes for the door panels and all. Alrighty guys. So from here, we will check out the rear of the vehicle. Or the rear seating area. Once again, got our rear door. Uh, power windows here as well. And then we have our rear seating area. Seats are nice and clean. There's a view from the back. Very quiet running engine. Alrighty. So from here, we will check out the uh, engine compartment. So we've had a lot of requests uh, from people where they would like to hear the engine run and we'll try to fulfill that for you. Alrighty guys. So uh, right here, we've got the engine compartment. It does need to be cleaned up a little bit. Uh, but this is all just uh, plastic, just dust. Uh, I'll let you guys hear the engine running. So there's no odd noises or any vibrations coming from the engine. It's a very nice and smooth running engine. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention earlier, uh, so this vehicle does have its uh, shocks replaced. As you can tell, it's still got the warning labels on them. So the front shocks are new. And this was, uh, I believe, done by the previous owner. Ready? Go ahead and close this up. Once again, guys, thank you for taking an interest in this 2008 Chevy Cobalt. Uh, if you guys have any other questions or concerns, please uh, send them our way, and we will be happy to get those answered for you. Thank you very much, and have a good day. Bye bye.